Hi Libra, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of February and I hope you had a beautiful and a great day on Valentine's Day and uh, yep, welcome back my Cyber Angel and of course all Cyber Angels and if you're new then Welcome to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot. And please subscribe and hit that bell just down there. And whilst we're at it, we I've kept my promise and I've made the website. So go and have a look at the website on the reviews that I do on decks and on the uh, different uh, readings that I offer and a little bit about me. And there will be updates from time to time because uh, I have to get I've got to keep it up and be active on there as well and that you can see that in the corner there uh, no sorry there on the right hand side you can see a little circle with an eye and if you click on that then it will take you through to the website okay so let's get started i'm using the um, enchanted dream tarot from yasmin westwood and this deck is actually um, really depicting the woman and femininity. You will not see any man, as you can see by the king, uh, king of swords. He's left his chair, but left his crown and sword there. Just to know that that's the king and this is the knight. So you've got the knight of cups here. So that is on the 17th. You start the week with the knight of cups. And somebody might be coming in to um, give you an offer. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. But there will be an offer or news definitely. This news will ground you because we've got the colour red here. And that's the grounding chakra. So it will ground you. It will um, balance you into a good mood hopefully. It could be an offer of love or an offer of a job that uh, you can let free your passion and your love. Awesome. Now, like I said, you've got the colour red uh, from the Archangel Metatron deck and it is number 55. So something is coming to an ending and a new beginning. That could be the passion or a love. Partner, uh, person, um, like I said, or a job. Safety, strength and power. Yes, you are safe and you are in your strength when you are granted and that will give you power. That will make you feel more certain of yourself and have faith in yourself. So sit quietly and meditate or just sit quietly and um, just let the ideas come into your your head, Libra, okay? You, um, you are a thinker, you are an air sign. Um, that also means that you are too much in, you can be too much in your head. So if you are a thinker, Libra, then evaluate what you the ideas that come into your head okay get grounded so when you're grounded you are not procrastinating because you are too much in your head you are the all over energy is the king of swords and that is you but it could also be a gemini or an, an aquarium um, so I feel it is you and that's the overall energy throughout the week and you um, are right on top of the game uh, as they say because you have the king card and the kings could be a judge, could be an advocate, it could be, um, uh, it's, an, it's a mature wise man, let me put it that way and I think you'll be very wise and grounded this week in order to get things done and especially if it is with regarding to passion or love awesome but you want clarity you have the wisdom 
and the patience and the maturity to carry on with your ideas. So have faith in yourself, like I said, so that you do not procrastinate, because that is your worst enemy, procrastination, not getting on with things. You think too much and not coming into action, because you want, you think things through like no one else. So come into action. And I think you're going to do that because you've got the chariot. And the chariot means that you have victory. You have also got public recognition. You've got victory and you've got public recognition. You are moving onwards and upwards. Okay, beautiful. That is the chariot. Here it is depicted with the lady and with Pegasus, the flying horse. I can't see the chariot, but I, I like the way she's done that. And Pegasus has got flames on his wings. So it gives me also an idea of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Perhaps you've been in a down and out uh, mood lately, and now you're coming out of it. You are rising up and you're going forwards. Awesome. And you know it. You've got victory. You might be moving home or you might be moving your business uh, address, um, residence. That is what I'm feeling for you as well, that you are expanding your um, business. You are quite, you've, you've got the, the, we've got the moon here, but it's a rainbow moon. So many things are happening and you know that earth and heaven is connected and you feel as if you you are really connected apparently with the divine and the universe here you are balanced look at this midweek you are balanced you've got the yin and the yang and your duality because you are a double sign just like uh, Gemini and Pisces but Gemini is also an air sign um, and Pisces is water. So I think spiritually and mentally you are in balance. If not, balance is needed between the masculine and the feminine to take care of yourself. But you can be businesslike and, and steadfast. That's the masculine. And you've got number 23, so that's a five. So not in balance yet, but I think you are getting there especially if you sit down, meditate or sit quietly and listen to your intu intuition and the ideas that come through. Friday we have the magician. Uh, this the chariot means also a new beginning, but we've got the magician at the end of the week telling you there is a new beginning, but you have to take action in order to make it happen so that your dream or goal can come true. <clears throat> You've got all the talents and tools within you and around you. You've got the wisdom. You've got the walk, so do the talk. Or you've got the talk, so do the walk. And take action. You might be getting more finances. You know how to handle that. And you've got your emotions under control. You know that this will be for durability long term because we've got the pentacle here. Now we've got number 35, and number 35 is eight. So money and the powerhouse. So money is coming in for long term. That is one of your wishes perhaps, and that will be on this path. Look at your chakras. Your chakras are cleared. This reading is basically about balance. You are in balance. Know it. Okay, know it and take it on board. You are clean. Metatron has given you the grounding, the balancing. You must balance. Accept the fact that you have to look after yourself. Um, that's the feminine side. And love yourself, of course. And be businesslike, steadfast, like the masculine and be strong. 
at the weekend. We've got the Four of Wands. This is an amazing reading, Libra, for you. I haven't seen such a good reading for you in ages. You've got the Four of Wands, so perhaps you might be getting married or you might be, <coughs> excuse me, invited to a wedding. Or you might have just bought a new house. Like I said, I feel as if you are extending your business. You could be working from the home. Perhaps you have extended your home and uh, because you've moved and you've bought it and you've also got a practice um, at home. You are celebrating in any way. At the weekend, you are celebrating. Wow. And then we've got number 20, and there you are, the two, the balance. You've got the balance. <coughs> and you've got the cosmos that mirrors you. So uh, mirrors you, you can look at yourself in the mirror and know that you are loved and that you love yourself and nurture yourself, making yourself look good. And the cosmos is telling you that what you do, you will get back. This is like the karma card, okay? Mirrors. He will throw back to you. So, know that when you do, uh, do the karma thing, and you do it with a pure heart and with love and clarity and justice, <clears throat> in, uh, lawfully, then you will get it back threefold. And that is definitely what's going to happen this week. You are going to celebrate. Perhaps you are getting a good karma back um, because you've done something in the past. And it's clear to you. As the King of Swords, he knows, he can see very well. He's wise. And he can see. He's also spiritual on many fronts, but... Um, he knows the letter of the law, and he also knows uh, the law of earth, the law of spirituality. That is what I believe. You know, be good to all mankind, there is a greater power, etc., etc., all that. Doesn't matter what you believe, so long you follow <clears throat> My father used to say, so long you follow the Ten Commandments and you know there is a God or a higher energy, you can't go wrong. And you've got the uh, Angel card, you've got Fuchsia Angel Feather card. So pink is also the colour from the heart, chakra and green. So you are definitely in balance emotionally and physically. Okay, um, uh, Libra, um, I'm, I'm thinking, sorry, sorry, I'm getting things through. You know, you, um, if you do meet an angel, then get ask Shamuel. He's the pink angel. Um, and it represents the pink, and that's the heart chakra, and Raphael is the heart, also the heart chakra, and that is the green. You can see that the pink is coming in, and the heart chakra is just there. Awesome. So that's Raphael, green, and Shamuel is pink. If you need help, then call upon these angels. And the, the colour of fuchsia also means positive and pure energy, energetic, sensual and feminine fun. So here you are. Let, if you're a man or a woman, let your femininity show. Beautify yourself, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. You will attract others to be your friends or your partners in business. Who knows? So be aware of your own strength and look after yourself. It's important. If you can't look after yourself, then you cannot look after anybody else. 
the stones that you can or crystals that you can wear with you to keep you protected from negative energy negative thoughts or emotions to keep your emotions in balance is spinal ruby infusite or ruby soy site. those are the two uh, stones and um, if you are um, a libra born in um, september then you are if you if you are a libra that is born in september then you have the emerald birthstone if you are a Libra that is born in October, then your birthstone is pearl. So you can wear either um, emerald or you can wear pearl. So September is emerald, October is pearl. So those are another couple of crystals that you can wear. Um, because uh, I, I love stones, but I don't know every single stone. But Spine, uh, spinal or spinal is, I don't know that one, and ruby in fuchsite, I don't know that one either, and ruby soy site, so I don't know that one, I just know ruby as ruby. Uh, I'm not, um, uh, I love astrology and gemonology and colour therapy and stones, but I don't know too much about it. I only feel drawn to stones and that, those are the ones that I buy or that I receive. Okay, and here, like I said, Archangel Shamiel protects your personal world. And I've got, and uh, that was also Archangel Raphael. Those are the heart chakra um, angels. Then we've also got, and I think this will be a good um angel and that's the angel of manifestations creating space to allow visions to manifest and i think that is really a good angel for you to have is yamaraya jamaraya angel jamaraya so i hope you've enjoyed this reading uh, Libra and I hope you have a beautiful week get balanced and get moving so get out of your head that's what a lot of people or readers always say about Libras I know you can be very swift but you've got too many things like a Gemini and an Aquarian going on at the same time but stay in balance take care of yourself and nurture yourself let that feminine side come out you'll be a beacon magic is here and celebrations love you all take care and be blessed please share and like the video and give us the thumbs up awesome see you in the life